Okay guys, in this video we will see how to do pad operation in Cadia. First go to pad design, click OK, choose any plane and click on sketch. Now uh, create a profile, a close profile, you can use anything, I choose circle and exit the workbench, click on pad. So the first option is dimension and accordingly it is asking you to put the length. So it's going to 20 mm. It is going to create a volume of whatever circle you have drawn and up to height of 30 mm in my case. So again you can create another profile. It's not necessary that you keep on drawing circle and you can make a rectangle too. And select another option of padding that is drafted fillet padding. So in this what you have to do is to give the angle of inclination. I have chosen 25 and there you can see that now it is not uh, a kind of a straight linear fashion padding. It is somewhat little bit slopey. So accordingly you can change the first and second limit. It will going to contract inward or extend it to outward. There is another feature in padding. So now we will going to say it. Just create another some profile. So what I'm making is I'm making a base for this thing. Okay, so these are total six slot and I do normal up to the plane. In this fashion, if you don't know uh, like what is the total length from that plane, you can choose this option up to plane. It will automatically calculate the distance and do the padding. Just create some profile. Coincidence tools helps to make identical circle. So I'm making a concentric circles just to show you the third property of padding that is multi padding. Here you can see that if I choose a normal padding then what happens and now multi padding. So first extrusion I give a dimension or a height of say 50 mm second make it quite less 10 mm less so that it just stacks one after the another and this way I can see the preview so now here you can see that it is quite some different no? so in multi padding uh, let us see what we have did wrong okay here it is the outer uh, one should be even lesser 20 now it is perfect it's perfectly at 10 mm stack distance so by this you can apply multi pad to multi sketches Now uh, let's make some rectangle and select pad, sorry, um, pad, go to thick options, apply the thickness to. So here you can see that it becomes a kind of a wall with a thickness 2mm. Else, if you don't check the thick option, it will make a cube. So that is the basic difference between the thick option and the normal padding. Normal padding fills all the space inside the sketch, whereas thick creates uh, predefined thickness or the user-defined thickness. 
and pad it. Now, this is for all. Thank you. So that if you really enjoy our video, then hit the subscribe and like button. Yes, don't forget to share it with your friends.